Salam Maria penuh rahmat Tuhan sertamu Terpujilah engkau di antara wanita Dan terpujilah buah tubuhmu Yesus Salam Maria penuh rahmat Tuhan sertamu Terpujilah engkau di antara wanita Dan terpujilah buah tubuhmu Yesus Salam Maria penuh rahmat Tuhan sertamu Terpujilah engkau di antara wanita Dan terpujilah buah tubuhmu Yesus Salam Maria penuh rahmat Tuhan sertamu Terpujilah engkau di antara wanita Dan terpujilah buah tubuhmu Yesus Salam Maria penuh rahmat Tuhan sertamu Terpujilah engkau di antara wanita Dan terpujilah buah tubuhmu Yesus Salam Maria penuh rahmat Tuhan sertamu Terpujilah engkau di antara wanita Dan terpujilah buah tubuhmu Yesus Salam Maria penuh rahmat Tuhan sertamu Terpujilah engkau di antara wanita Dan terpujilah buah tubuhmu Yesus Salam Maria penuh rahmat Tuhan sertamu Terpujilah engkau di antara wanita Dan terpujilah buah tubuhmu Yesus Salam Maria penuh rahmat Tuhan sertamu Terpujilah engkau di antara wanita Dan terpujilah buah tubuhmu Yesus Salam Maria penuh rahmat Tuhan sertamu Terpujilah engkau di antara wanita Dan terpujilah buah tubuhmu Yesus Kemuliaan kepada Bapa dan Putra dan Roh Kudus. Ya Yesus yang baik, ampunilah dosa-dosa kami, selamatkanlah kami dari api neraka dan hantarlah jiwa-jiwa ke syurga, terutama mereka yang sangat memerlukan belas kasihan. Amin. The, the fifth luminous mystery. The institution of the Eucharist. He took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to them, saying, This is my body, which is given for you. And likewise, the cup after supper, saying, This cup which is poured out for you is the new covenant sealed in my blood. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of your mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, Hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn them, most gracious advocate, your eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, as uh, show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant we beseech you that while meditating on these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise to the same Christ our Lord. Amen. The Memorari. Remember, O Most Gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly to you, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To you I come, before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful, O Mother of the world incarnate. Despise not my petitions, but in your mercy hear and answer me. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please stand. O oh God, come to our aid. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it's now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. All creatures of our God and King, lift up your voice and let us sing. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Open His Son with golden wings. The silver moon is soft and wings. Oh. Oh, praise. 
the Lord will give victory to his anointed one. Please be seated. May the Lord answer in time of trial. May the name of Jacob's gods protect you. May, May he send you help, help from his function. shrine and give you support from Zion. May he remember all your offerings and receive your sacrifice with favour. May he give you your heart's desire and fulfill every one of your plans. May we ring out with may we ring out our joy at your victory and rejoice in the name of our God. May the Lord grant all your prayers. I am sure now that the Lord will give victory to his anointed, will reply from his holy heaven with the mighty victory of his hand. Some trust in chariots or horses, but we in the name of the Lord. They will collapse and fall, but we shall hold and stand firm. Give victory to the King, O Lord. Give answer on the day we call. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord will give victory to his anointed one. The thanksgiving for victory. We shall sing and praise your power. O Lord, your strength gives joy to the King. How your saving help makes him glad. You have granted him his heart's desire. You have not refused the prayer of his lips. You came to meet him with the blessings of success. You have set on his head a crown of pure gold. He asks you for life, and this you have given, days that will last from age to age. Your saving help has given him glory. You have laid upon him majesty and splendor. You have granted your blessings to him forever. You have made him rejoice with the joy of your presence. The King has put his trust in the Lord. Through the mercy of the Most High, he shall stand firm. O Lord, arise in your strength. We shall sing and praise your power. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. We, we shall, shall sing and praise your power. Lord, you will make us a kingdom and priests to serve our God. Worthy are you, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honour and power. For you created all things, but by your will they existed and were created. Worthy are you, O Lord, to take the scroll and open its seals. For you were slain. And by your blood, you ransom men for God, from every tribe and tongue and people and nation. You have made us a kingdom and priests to your, our God, and we shall reign on earth. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and might and honour and glory and blessing. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, Lord you make made us, us a kingdom, kingdom and, and priests to serve our God. God. A reading from the first letter of John. 
Think of the love that the Father has lavished on us by letting us be called God's children. And that is what we are. My dear people, we are already the children of God, but what we are to be in the future has not yet been revealed. All we know is, then when it is revealed, we shall be like him, because we shall see him as he really is. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your word, O Lord, will endure forever. Your word, O Lord, will endure forever. Your truth will last from age to age. Your word, O Lord, will endure forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Your word, O Lord, will endure forever. My spirit, my spirit exalts in the Lord God, like my, my Savior. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear Him. He puts forth His arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protect Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My, my spirit, spirit exalts in the Lord God, my Saviour. Through Christ, we are sons of God. In Him, we see what we shall be when we come to the Father. With confidence, we pray. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Guide leaders and governments. Give them wisdom and integrity. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. You are the Lord and source of our freedom. Bring those in captivity of mind or body to the freedom of the children of God. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Give courage and strength to the young. Help them to choose their work and make the right decisions for their way of life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Give patient tolerance to all who are no longer young. Open the hearts of the young to accept from them understanding and love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Receive the departed into an eternal kingdom. Sustain our hope to reign with you forever. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. All together, oh, our oh, Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. We give you thanks, Lord God Almighty, for bringing us safely to the evening of this day. We humbly ask that the prayer we make with uplifted hands may be an offering pleasing in your sight. We make this prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, 
forever and ever. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Please be seated. Please rise.
in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Pida sudan parisutta avin pea pea relei. Dalam nama Bapa dan Putra dan Roh Kudus. Info jizi ji shang shang zi ming. Nam andavar rahia Yesu Christu vin arulum kadavulin anbum parisutta avin Natpuravum, Ungal Anaivarodum, Yerupadahe. Samoa Rahmat Tuhan, Jesus Christus, dan Chinta Kase, Allah, Persecutuan Rokudus, Persertamu. Yuan Tianfu the Tsai, Tidu the Shang Chong, Shang Shan the Unsu, Yuniman Tong Zai. Sahotere, Sahotere Halei, Girupali Opuruke, Nam Tauti, Perum Borut, Nam Pavangale, Yet, Manam Varum Tuvom, Saudara, Nan Saudara Scalian, Savagai Persiapan, Diri Kita, Unto Menyambut Mistri Suci, Marila Kita, Memperingatan um, Dosa Kita. 各位教友，现在我们大家认罪，虔诚的举行圣祭。So my brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. I confess. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. God in the highest, and on the feast to be God of good will, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory.
Let us pray. O God, who out of the abundance of your untold grace alone chose to set your servant and priest Bernard Paul over your church of Malacca, Johor, this day. Grant that he may carry out worthily the office of bishop, and under your governance in all things, he may direct by word and example the people entrusted to his care through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Pembacaan dari kitab Yesaya Roh Tuhan Allah ada padaku Sebab ia telah mengurapi aku Ia telah mengutus aku Untuk menyampaikan kabar baik Kepada orang-orang sengsara Dan merawat Orang-orang yang remuk hatinya Untuk memberitakan pembebasan Kepada orang-orang tawanan Dan kepada orang-orang Yang terkurung kelepasan dari penjaya Untuk memberitakan Tahun rahmat Tuhan dan hari pembalasan Allah kita Untuk menghibur semua orang yang berkabung Untuk mengaruniakan kepada mereka perhiasan kepada sebagai ganti abu Minyak pesta sebagai ganti kain kabung dan nyanyian puji-pujian sebagai ganti semangat yang pudar demikianlah sabda Tuhan Sangzu 
身上上，你单身之日，王位就属于于你。我已经生了你，好像在黎明之前的早露。上主发了誓，绝不反悔。你按照摩羯舍得的品味，永为世纪。主基督按照摩羯舍得的品味，永为世纪。திரு தூதரானே புனித பவுல் திமு தேவுக்கு எழுதிய இரண்டாம் திருமுகத்திலிருந்து வாசகம் உன் மீது என் கைகளை வைத்து திருப்பணியில் அமர்த்திய போது உனக்குள் எழுந்த கடவுளின் அருள் கொடையினை தூண்டி எழுப்புமாறு நினைவுறுத்துகிறேன் கடவுள் நமக்கு கோழை உள்ளத்தினை அல்ல வல்லமையும் அன்பும் கட்டுப்பாடும் கொண்ட உள்ளத்தையே வழங்கியுள்ளார் எனவே நம் ஆண்டவருக்கு நீ சான்று பகர்வதை குறித்தோ அவர் பொருட்டு நான் கைதியாக இருப்பதை குறித்தோ வெட்கமடைய தேவையில்லை கடவுளின் வல்லமைக்கேற்ப நற்செய்தியின் பொருட்டு துன்பத்தில் என்னுடன் பங்கு கொள் அவர் நம் செயற்களை முன்னிட்டு அல்ல காலங்களுக்கு முந்திய தமது தீர்மானத்தின்படி கிறிஸ்து இயேசு வழியாக நமக்கு அளிக்கப்பட்ட அருளின்படி நம்மை மீட்டுள்ளார் நமக்கு தூய அழைப்பு விடுத்துள்ளார் நம் மீட்பராகிய கிறிஸ்து இயேசு உலகில் தோன்றியதன் மூலம் இப்போது அருள் வெளிப்பட்டுள்ளது அவர் சாவை அழித்து அழியா வாழ்வை நற்செய்தின் வழியாக ஒளிர செய்தார் அந்த நற்செய்தியை அறிவிப்பவனாகவும் திரு தூதனாகவும் போதகனாகவும் நான் ஏற்படுத்தப்பட்டுள்ளேன் இதன் பொருட்டே நான் இவ்வாறு துன்புற்று வருகிறேன் எனினும் வெட்க முறுவதில்லை ஏனெனில் நான் யாரிடம் நம்பிக்கை கொண்டுள்ளேன் என அறிவேன் அவர் என்னிடம் ஒப்படைத்ததை இறுதி நாள் வரை காத்திட வல்லவர் என்கிற உறுதியான நம்பிக்கை எனக்கு உண்டு கிறிஸ்து இயேசுவிடம் நம்பிக்கையும் அன்பும் கொண்டு என்னிடம் நீ கேட்ட நலம் தரும் வார்த்தைகளை மேல்வரி சட்டமாக கொள் நமக்குள் குடிக்கொள்ளும் தூய ஆவியால் ஒப்படைக்கப்பட்ட நல்ல போதனையை காத்துக்கொள் இது ஆண்டவர் வழங்கும் அருள்வாக்கு
reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said, I am the Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd is one who lays down his life for his sheep. The hired man, since he is not the shepherd, and the sheep do not belong to him, abandoned. Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please rise.
Most Reverend Father, the Church of Diocese of Malacca Jao asked you to ordain this priest, Bernard Paul, to the responsibility of the Episcopate. Have you a mandate from the Holy See? We have. Thanks be to God. Let it be read. Thanks be to God. Please sit. Francis Bishop, servant of the servants of God, sends his greetings and apostolic blessing to beloved son, Anthony Bernard Hall, from the clergy of the Diocese of Penang, elected Bishop of Malacca, Johor. As the successor of the blessed Peter and desirous to provide the Diocese of Malacca Joho, made vacant by the resignation of the venerable brother Paul Tan Ching SJ, having listened to the Congregation for the Evangelization of Peoples, we entrust you to take the best care of the people. Beloved son, you are endowed with the required gifts and the skills of pastoral ministry. Therefore, by our supreme apostolic power, we name you Bishop of Malacca Joho with all the rights and obligations. We permit you to receive ordination by any Catholic bishop outside the city of Rome, provided that you observe the liturgical rites and make the profession of the Catholic faith and also take the oath of fidelity to us and our successors according to the sacred canons. Besides with these letters, we entrust that you inform the clergy and the people of the diocese whom we encourage that they accept you with joy and devotion. Finally, for you, blessed son, seek the support of the Blessed Virgin Mary and by the intercession of the patron saints of the church. We implore the gifts of the Holy Spirit and with the help of the faithful whom we assign to you to look after them with great love. Calling to mind the words of St. Augustine. Have love itself and you will have everything because without it, nothing will come forth. You will have everything. May the peace of Christ be with you always and with your beloved church community in Malaysia. Given at St. Peter's, Rome, on the 19th of November, 2015, on the third year of our pontificate. Signed, Francis.
my brother Bernard Paul, consider carefully the position in the church to which our brother is raised, about to be raised. Our Lord Jesus Christ was sent by the Father to redeem the human race. In turn, sent 12 apostles into the world. These men were filled with the power of the Holy Spirit to preach the gospel and gather every race and people into a single flock to be guided and governed in the way of holiness. Because this service was to continue to the end of time, the apostles selected others to help them. By the laying on of hands, which confers the sacrament of orders in the fullness, the apostles passed on the gift of the Holy Spirit, which they themselves have received from Christ. In this way, by a succession of bishops unbroken from one generation to the next, the powers conferred in the beginning were handed down and the work of the Savior lifts and grows in our time. In the person of the bishop with his priests around him, Jesus Christ, the Lord, who became high priest forever, is present among you. Through the ministry of the bishop, Christ himself continues to proclaim the gospel and to confer the mysteries of the faith on those who believe. Through the fatherly action of the bishop, Christ adds new members to his body. Through the bishop's wisdom and prudence, Christ guides you in your earthly pilgrimage toward eternal happiness. Gladly and carefully, therefore, receive our brother whom we are able to accept into the College of Bishops by the laying on of hands. Respect him as a minister of Christ and a steward of the mysteries of God. He has been entrusted with the task of witnessing to the truth of the gospel and fostering a spirit of justice and holiness. Remember the words of Christ spoken to the apostles. Whoever listens to you, listens to me. Whoever rejects you and those who reject me, reject the one who sent me. My brother Bernard Paul have been chosen by the Lord. Remember that you are chosen from among men and appointed to act for men and women in relation to God. The title of bishop is one not of honor, but of function. And therefore a bishop should strive to serve rather than to rule. Such is the counsel of the master. Greater should behave as if he were the least. And the leader as if he were one who serves. Proclaim the message, whether it is welcome or unwelcome. Correct error and unfailingly, unfailing patience and teaching. Pray and offer for the people committed to your care, and so draw every kind of grace for them from the overflowing holiness 
of Christ. As a steward of Christ, of the mysteries of Christ in the church, entrusted to you, be a faithful overseer and guardian, since you are chosen by the Father to rule over his family, always be mindful of the good shepherd who knows his sheep and is known by them and who did not hesitate to lay down his life for them. As a father and brother, love all whom you, God places in your care. Love the priests and deacons who show with you the ministry of Christ. Love the poor and infirm, strangers and the homeless. Encourage the faithful to work with you in your apostolic task. Listen willingly to what they have to say. Never relax your concern for those who do not yet belong to the one fold of Christ. Christ. They too are commanded to you, to the Lord, in the Lord. Never forget that the Catholic Church made one by the bond of Christian love. You are incorporated into the College of Bishops. You should therefore have a constant concern for all the churches and gladly come to the aid and support of churches in need. Attend to the whole flock in which the Holy Spirit appoints you as overseer of the Church of God. In the name of the Father, whose image you personify in the church, in the name of Jesus Christ, whose role of teacher, priest, and shepherd you undertake, and in the name of the Holy Spirit, who gives life, of, life to the church of Christ and supports your weakness and strength. The ancient rule of the Holy Father's decrees that a bishop-elect is to be questioned in the presence of his people on his resolve to uphold the faith and to discharge his duty. And therefore, dear brother Bernard Paul, are you resolved to discharge until death the grace of the Holy Spirit, the office of entrusted to us by the apostles, which we are about to pass on to you by the laying on of hands. I am. Are you resolved to preach the gospel of Christ with constancy and fidelity? I am. Are you resolved to guard the deposit of faith, entire and incorrupt, as handed down by the apostles and preserved in the church everywhere and at all times. I am. Are you resolved to build up the body of Christ, his church, and to remain one with her in the order of bishops under the authority of the successor of St. Peter the Apostle? I am. Are you resolved to render obedience faithfully to to the successor of the blessed Apostle Peter. I am. Are you resolved to guide the holy people of God in the way of salvation as a devoted father and to sustain them with the help of your fellow ministers, the priests and deacons? I am. Are you resolved for the sake of the Lord's name to be welcoming and merciful 
to the poor, to strangers, and to all who are in need. I am. Are you resolved, as a good shepherd, to seek out the sheep who stray and gather them into the Lord's fold? I am. Are you resolved to pray without ceasing to Almighty God for the holy people and to carry out the office of high priest without reproach? I am with the help of God. May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to its fulfillment. Please rise. Dearly brothers and dearly beloved brothers and sisters, let us pray for the kindness of Almighty God in providing for the welfare of the church will yield an abundance of his grace for this chosen one. And we ask all the saints to pray for us. Let us kneel. Mercy. Saint 
fill in me. Pray for us. Saint Imbert and Saint Cheston. Pray for us. Saint Andrew Dunlock and Companions. Pray for us. Saint Andrew Kim and Companions. Pray for us. Saint Augustine Tarong and Companions. Pray for us. Saints John Twenty Third and John Paul Second. Pray for us. Saint Bernard. Pray for us. All holy men and women, saints of God. Graciously hear our petition, O Lord, and pour out upon this your servant the power of your blessing flowing from the horn of the priestly grace. 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us stand. Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, Father of mercies and God of all consolation, who dwell on high and look on the lowly, and know all things before they come to be. You have provided order for your church. Through the word of your grace, from the beginning, you foreshadowed a nation of the just born of Abraham establishing rulers and priests, and not leaving your sanctuary without ministers. From the foundation of the world, you have, ple you have been pleased to be glorified in those you have chosen. Now, upon this chosen one, for out the power that is from you, the governing spirit, whom you have to your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, the spirit he bestowed on those holy apostles who established the church in every place as your sanctuary for the unceasing praise and glory of your name. 
Father who knows all hearts, grant to this your servant, whom you have chosen for the office of the bishop, may he, that he may shepherd your flock and serving you night and day, fulfill before you without reproach the ministry of high priest, so that he may ever gain favor in your sight and offer up the gifts of your Holy Spirit of your church, grant that by the power of the Spirit of the high priesthood he may have the powers to forgive sins according to your command, distribute offices according to your decrees, and loosen every bond in accordance with the power of you gave to the apostles. May he please you by his meekness and purity of heart, presenting a fragrant of your own glory, power, and honor are yours with the Holy Spirit, in the Holy Spirit, in the Holy Church, for now and forever. Please sit. May God, who has made you a sharer in the high priest of Christ, pour upon you the oil of mystical anointing, and make you fruitful with an abundance of spiritual blessings. Receive the gospel and preach the word of God with patience and sound teaching. Receive this ring, the seal of fidelity, adorned with undefiled faith. Persevere unblemished, the Bride of Christ, the Holy Church. Receive the mitre, and may the splendor of holiness shine forth in you. so that when the high, the chief shepherd appears, you may deserve to receive from him an unfading crown of glory. Receive the crozier, the sign of your pastoral office, and keep watch over the whole flock in which the Holy Spirit has placed you as bishop to govern the Church of God.
Namaste. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We offer you the sacrifice of praise, O Lord, for the deepening of our service of you, the what you have conferred on us, unworthy as we are, you may graciously bring to fulfillment through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Lift up your hearts. Up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, by the, for by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, you made your only begotten Son, High Priest of the new and eternal covenant, and by your wondrous design, were pleased to decree that his one priesthood should continue in the church. For Christ not only adorns with the royal priesthood, the people has made his own, but with the brother's kindness, he also chooses men to become sharers in his sacred ministry to the laying on of hands. They are to renew in his name the sacrifice of human redemption, to set before your children the paschal banquet, to lead your holy people in charity, to nourish them with the word and strengthen them with the sacraments as they give up their lives for you and for the salvation of your brothers and sisters they strive to be conformed to the image of Christ himself and offer your constant witness of faith and love. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. rightly gives you praise for through your son our Lord Jesus Christ by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit you give life to all things and make them holy and you never cease to gather people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name therefore Lord we humbly implore you by the same spirit graciously make holy these gifts we are brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, giving you thanks. He said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your son his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven and as we look forward to his second coming we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice look we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make us an everlasting gift to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Bernard Paul, our Bishop, who has been ordained today as shepherd for the Church of the Diocese of Malacca, Johor, with the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours. Forever and ever. Amen. Atas petunjuk penyelamat kita dan menurut ajaran ilahi. 
Maka beranilah kita bernyanyi Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. Spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy to enter under my roof, but only say the word.
Please rise. Let us pray. Complete within us, O Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy and graciously perfect and sustain us so that in all things we may please you through Christ our Lord. Please be seated. Please rise.
a small announcement. Light refreshments are available downstairs. Sir, are you up? Ungal Aniru Kagum, one will Mandabatin Velie, Tayaraga Vulade, Tripali Mudinadum, Undu Magilumare, Kate Kolgindro Kapada Sumo Omas, Lepas Misa Kudusini, Ada Jamuan, De Bawa Sikian. Woman, you to Bella Ishet Hardian, Tai Losia, Tinching Go away, Shang Yong. We would like to invite His Excellency, the Apostolate Nuncio for Malaysia, Joseph Marino, to say a few words. When our Holy Father, Pope Francis, opened the holy door in the Basilica of St. Peter's in the Vatican on the 8th of December last year, he said, wherever there are people, the church is called to reach out to them and to bring the joy of the gospel and the mercy and forgiveness of God. Dear Bishop Paul and all gathered here today, these words truly resonate within our hearts because they describe and manifest the essential mission of the church to reach out to all peoples, bringing them the soothing balm of the mercy of God. As such, dear Bishop, as you undertake the mandate of teaching governing and sanctifying the people of God of the Diocese of Malacca, Johor. Take these sentiments of our Holy Father as a template for the Episcopal ministry which you began today. In fact, the entire ceremony in which we have just participated and witnessed points to the conviction and assurance that the Lord never leaves his flock unattended. And as such, Pope Francis, whose ministry as pastor of the Universal Church, extending to all the local churches, has concretely manifested God's care for his people by appointing you and designating you by name to be the bishop of this diocese. I am sure, dear Bishop, that you will have the support and closeness of all the people, priests, religious, and laity of the Diocese of Malacca, Johor, as you journey with them in encouraging people, in encountering people where they live, in their cities and homes, in their workplaces, everywhere. Moreover, now inserted into the College of Bishops, you can also rely on your fellow bishops for fraternity and brotherly companionship. Of course, the Apostolic Nunciature in Kuala Lumpur, representing the presence of Pope Francis among you, is to your friend and partner throughout the entire pastoral ministry which you have undertaken today. Before closing, I wish to thank publicly Bishop Paul Tan, who over these years has always shepherded this people with fatherly love and has shown his care for all the churches his generous missionary outreach. Moreover, Bishop, after you submitted to the Holy Father your resignation from the pastoral governance of Malacca Johor as canon law, you express not with <laughs> Dear brother bishops, priests, religious, and laity, let us take from this liturgy, which we have just celebrated together with deep faith and devotion, the reassurance of the presence of the mercy of God among us. 
And let us live this jubilee of mercy with the conviction that Jesus Christ is the face of the mercy of God. And let us, all of us, be part of the mystery and love and of tenderness. And let us experience the joy of encountering that grace which has the power to transform all things. Thank you. Thanks, His Excellency. Now, we would like to invite the Bishop, Diocese of Malaga, Joho, Bishop Bernard Paul, to say a few words. His Excellency Archbishop Joseph Marino, Apostolic Nuncio to Malaysia, Members of Parliament, State Assemblymen, Bishop Paul Tan Chi Ng, fellow Archbishops and Bishops, Archbishops and Bishops of Emeriti, esteemed heads of interreligious organizations, fellow priests, deacons, and religious, family members, friends, and all people of God. First and foremost, my heartful thank, thanks to God who continues to believe in us when trust the building of the kingdom in our care. To the Holy Father for appointing me to this office of Bishop, Bishop of the Diocese of Mlekka, Johor. To the Archbishops, Bishops and Emirati for welcoming me into the Conference of Bishops of Malaysia, Singapore, Brunei. To the clergy, my friends and co-workers for your presence, prayer and show support. To the Episcopal, organizing, uh, Episcopal Ordination Organizing Committee, under the guidance of Bishop Emeritus Paul Tan and Stephen Gore, and for the many parishes that were involved, especially the Cathedral of the, of the Sacred Heart and Church of the Immaculate Conception, for the detailed and meticulous preparation and gift of self. And to the Catholics of the Diocese of Penang, there are many of you here, and also from all over the Diocese of the Malacca Johor for your presence and prayers. And here I like to also say thank you to Molly Fu, a friend and a companion of 40 years journey with me. Okay? And for to my family members, my brothers, my sisters, we have come also from far and near to share in this joy of mine for being there and also for bearing with me. Thank you. Okay. This day is what the Chinese call a day of double joy. For one, after fighting the good fight, running the good race, after storming heaven and Vatican for replacement, now he can smile and say, it is accomplished. <laughs> Today we record our heartfelt thanks to him for being part of the Malacca Johor Diocese's journey and history. We thank you, Bishop Emeritus Paul Tan. <laughs> okay. Okay. The second joy is getting a replacement, okay? A new vision of the diocese to ensure continuity and the unbroken succession. If you notice today in the celebration, Bishop Paul Tan handed over the crozier, the staff, uh, so that I continue. Uh, so that is a sim the symbol behind it and the meaning behind it. And the diocese did wait for a long time and the waiting is over now, okay? Many have asked, what's your maiden address going to be? I will only leave this little story to share. Just a people were trickling into the church one Sunday, and I was seated outside the confessional. And as I gazed at them, 
I heard these words, love them, I love them. For a moment I felt what the Lord our God felt for his people. Then I realized the impact of the words. It was not another call to love, but to love what the Lord loves. Love what the Lord loves, though we may not like everything. My dear friends, that is what we are called to. And I pray that I may be able to love everything that the Lord loves, even if I may not like it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. A few words in my outta uh, Chinese, okay, okay. <laughs> last minute training, last minute preparation, but yet coaching from uh, a good friend. So with that, I just like to try uh, and communicate uh, what I intend to share. Wojin Aita Tian Chu Chemin Ta Chia Ao. Kang Sia Niman, I Yesu, I Chiao Hui, Rang Woman, Yi Chi Lai, Chi Sien Se Ta Te Shen Guo, Hien Shu Pao Yu, Si Si. And just uh, like to the Tamil speaking, I would like to say, Anbarnda Irei Makkel, Hunglani Verkum, Yengal Yen Miganandri, Irei Vartil, Hilda Patrick Rede, Uru Udel, Pala Urpugal, Uru Avianaver, Pala Barangal, and the Unarchil, Namanda Rudia, Arase Kati Yelpu, Yitan Yen Dia Yeder Parpe. Nandri Minum Sandipum. Saudara Saudari Yang Di Naungi Ule Tuan Allah Kita Yang Peno Rahim Ada Tertulis Satu Tubuh Banyak Anggota Satu Roh Kudus Banyak Kurniaan Marilah Sama-Sama Sedari Kenyataan Ini Dan Bersama Membina Kerajaan Allah di mana saja kita diutuskan, Tuhan Allah memang mengasihi kita. Sekian terima kasih. Please rise. The Lord be with you. Bow down for the blessing. O oh God, who care for your people with gentleness and rule them in love, endow with the spirit of wisdom those to whom you have handed on authority to govern, that from the flourishing of a holy flock may come eternal joy for its shepherds. Amen. As in your majestic power you allot the number of days and the measure of our years, Look favorably upon our humble service and confer on our time the abundance of your peace. Amen. Give a happy outcome to the task that through your grace you, may have, you, have, you have laid upon me, whom you have raised to the rank of bishop. Make me pleasing to you in the fulfillment of my duties and so guide the hearts of people and pastor that the obedience of the flock may never fail the shepherd nor the care of the shepherd be lacking for the flock. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Spirit is 
is in my heart. He has called me and set me apart. This is what I have to do. What I have to do.
Yeah, good, eh? Flauw, dan, Ja, flauw,